So how did either or both of you get interested in Paper Girls and what kind of drew you to the project as opposed to the it was an audition. <laughs> I'm gonna be so honest. The audition originally drew me in, but then I read the storyline and I read the like bio for Tiff, and I was immediately hooked. And I was like, this is something I need to be a part of. Like, this could be representation for so many people. Like, you know, when you read like a storyline, this one's gonna be a winner. I got that instant feeling, and I think that's what really sucked me in. And then getting the scripts and reading the comics sucked me in even further. And I don't think there's any way I can be sucked out. <laughs> <laughs> For me, once again, just like basically everything that Cameron just said, I would add to it. For me, it's that, um, well, anything timey wimey I'm in. <laughs> and number two is my mom was actually a paper girl. Oh, cool! And Mac, in, in, she, she inherited her paper room from her older brother. Same thing went for my mom. Both of my uncles were paper boys, and my mom and them were, they were telling me all about all these wild experiences. They said it was a nightmare. Quite like, like paper girls? But... Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, as far as I know. You know True. You never know. You need a trademark timey wimey. Timey, oh, Dr. Wu. I'm afraid they may have beaten you <laughs> on that one. <laughs> So was there something that you were particularly, when you saw the, or either read the, the comics or read the script, was there something you were ex particularly excited to, to do on the show? I think, for me, time travel, the 1980s, you have four teenage, four preteen girls bickering. What's not to like? <laughs> I was really excited to do all of the action scenes and all of, and see all of the special effects come alive. Yeah, the special effects. But I was yeah. really excited to see all of the representation and diversity really come to yeah. And there are a lot of messages that don't get talked about very often in media in this show. And I was really, I'm really excited to see how people respond to those once the show comes out one week from today. <laughs> Good plug. Thank you. <laughs> I thought so. Well, they want to kind of, you guys are just normal girls who kind of get stuck into this situation. Is there a training you have to do to be ready for these kind of, you know, if that, if, you know things you have to go through in the, in the show? Do you have any kind of training? We had to learn how to ride bikes in tandem with each other. So we, we practiced in a parking lot, on each on our bikes, going around. They would pair us with, so one time I would be with Cameron, we would go around learning how, you know, smaller wheels, bigger wheels, you're going to end up going faster, you're going to have to pump a little harder, just, you know, that kind of thing. That was our second day on set, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away, but in the comics, uh, Mac and KJ are kind of a very, very interesting relationship. Can you talk about how, that's, how that plays out in the show? Right, I would say that for Mac and KJ in, in the series, you're going to have to wait and see what happens. However, I think that they form a very, a very beautiful bond because I think that Mac is finally able to let her guard down a little bit throughout the series. She is, she is quite aggressive at the beginning and has sort of a hard shell. And it's just interesting to see how KJ and the other girls sort of help her let that down a little bit. So when the series starts, uh, the girls are complete strangers, or at least some of them are. So did you feel that same bond with the cast as you were going through and making the show and making the bond? Yeah. 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 Okay, funny story. Um, we, when we got casted, we knew who everybody was, but they asked us not to talk to like DM or call anybody before we met in person so that they could get it on video and so that we could meet like our characters and form that bond and grow along with our characters in the show. So we did break the rule. Um, <laughs> so the night before we were about to meet in um, person, it was, hey, I'm so excited to meet you tomorrow. It's finally happening. It was all of that stuff. And then um, I know Fina actually deleted the message from her like message log so that nobody would know that she <laughs> messages back. But it, that was really fun. And then we did grow like our characters did. I yeah, definitely. And I remember, I remember standing in the apartment in Chicago at night, and I was looking out, sort of down, and then I get a little ding on my phone. It says Cameron Jones wants to send you a message. <laughs> it was so sweet. 
you guys have some special effects? Is there something in particular that you saw and was like, yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. That's what we envision kind of come to life. Because, I mean, when you're working with it, you don't get to see any of that, which I'm sure is difficult. So is there something you're like, oh, yeah, that's it? Ooh, I think I have one, but I don't know if I can say it yet. <laughs> same. I think we can give the same thing. I think so. But I would, here's one that I can definitely say. The pink sky was awesome. Like, I was just waiting for it to be seen on the screen. Like, wow, like, this is a blue shit. This really sets the tone of the show. This sets the mood. And I think the special effects team did an amazing job of making it look real and fit that time period in the And um, I'm pretty sure I can mention this one because it was it was seen in the trailer. I would say the little, the little futuristic bugs. That was, that really just took me back. <laughs> Uh, is there anything about the '80s that you wish that you wish you had today that you got to use in the uh, in the show? Sheesh! <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> we've come so far. <laughs> I'm gonna say I love Max's outfit and I love her Walkman. So if I uh, something specifically from the show or just in the '80s? Uh, in, in the general. Yeah. Okay. The music. I think the music. Yeah. Walkie talkies. Music and movies. Also, I love your runaway shirt. Oh, yes, I was just going to say, why I gave out running out. I know. I was freaking out because I love that show. Nice. That's so good. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys.